is the soundtracks because it has a lot if not all the soundtracks I'm not saying all of them but they have a lot of them Again, very Sega Genesis like, very Sega Master System like. Uh, Crystalos. Again, they give you that option to kind of play them all back as you're just relaxing or whatever. And so they also have uh, some works here, which they actually talk about, you know, their information. It was founded as Shin, uh, SNK was founded as Shin Nagaro Kekuru from the which later Shin Nihon Kier, uh, Kikakaru, <coughs> Kikaru, which from later as SNK as an initialism uh, was derived. Or the New Japan Project in English. So New Japan Project is literally what it means in English. Will eventually become SNK we know and love. It all begins here with the Maricom block. So literally you get a nice little history here. Like a little museum style exhibit here if you will like diagrams going over everything and it goes all the way up to 1990 goes over all the games which a decent chunk of them are not actually in here and this Mahjong game is actually quite comical by the way I like how they blurred out the face because they didn't get permission. <laughs> but yeah, these were both used for like parlors and all that for, you know, like bars. And this one right here is like literally uh, was used for like bars in Japan and all that. And you got Athena, which they kind of go over this one. Athena be thick. Similar to Alpha Mission, the upgrade system was inspired by RPG mechanics. Athena gains or begins the game with just a red bikini and gains armor and weapons along her journey. And you can see right there, again, it just... And then they have... Akari. They have all these. Bermuda Triangle, which is a pretty good one. Which I don't think this one's actually in this. A uh, Jongbao. Which is Majong, which, um... Again, it just shows like little risque. Wait, what was the last one there? I couldn't see it. Crap. You have some such a Psycho Soldier, Athena console version with the NES. They just call it. They label it consoles that because they can't say Net or Nintendo necessarily. I mean, even though they do on the actual ROM itself. 
Got Time Soldiers. Uh, Paddle Mania, which, um... Which is pretty decent. I mean, I'm not very good at this one. Yeah, fighting golf. Fighting soccer. Gold medalist. Iron tank. Prisoners of War, which is a pretty good one. Baseball stars, which I'm very bad at. Um... Yeah, they don't quite have all the games in here. They have the next space. Dexterity. Which ironically was on Game Boy. Great game, but ain't on here. So you got that. Search and Rescue. Zuski and Commander. Um, one of the cooler things, too, is you can actually switch the region. So if it has English and Japan, you can see what the differences were. Which was no difference. Prehistoric. Uh, Isle, again, no difference. Prisoner of War, different uh, things again. Joyful Road, or Munch Mobile there. Great tank in Japan, uh, in the States, Iron Tank, Akari Warrior, or Akari 3 The Rescue, and then they have this one, which just looks absolutely badass. Which this one's more like a beat em up than anything else. A little bit of lag there. No difference in the artwork there, No art besides the logo. Fantasy, Fantasy, God Slayer, or uh, Crystal Ass. We're gonna Triangle, Beast Busters, Athena, Alpha Missioner S A D, which is uh, I actually have, or A S D. I actually have the Japanese version and the American version of that. Street Smart, Time Soldier, Tank 3, Vanguard, War, World Wars. We'll play some Psycho Soldier. Now, one of the cooler things, too, is you can actually play this, or have it play the game for you. So, if you just want to see it being played through, you just have to do that. And it actually sings as well, which is actually quite trippy. See? It's actually singing as well. This song is my spirit animal. I was actually quite impressed, especially for the arcade at the time, too. Yeah, again, it's pretty cool. 
So again, if you're not very good at the game, but you want to see the game being played through, you can literally set it up like that. But we're going to have to actually play the game for real this time. Psycho Soldier, Judge. Like Bollywood style. Best fucking song ever. Fire! Fire. Fire. Fire! Fire! Oh, shit. All right. Oh, shit. This game ain't pulling back now. Little bit of a reference towards level a whole damn building. Cool scene here. Transitions in this is so good. I actually played this very lightly in the arcades. Um, like a really random game too. Like I didn't expect to see it in my arcade at all at the time, but it was like, what the hell is this? So I played it, I was like, this is pretty cool. 
I didn't think anything much of it at the time, right? Didn't say at the time how much detail these games had in the 80s, right? Oh, sh okay. She's like, oh well. Just she just accepts it. She's like, oh well. Athena, I will go. Athena, I will go. I'm sort of like an, a shmup in a way as well. And she even looks like Athena, right? Welcome back, sweetie. Oh! Yeah, Psycho... Danny looks 16 again. Have some beer! Um. You receive some ID, sir? Here's my Blockbuster card! Say no more. Here's your beer. Oh, I don't even drink alcohol at all, so. It'd be awkward to explain. Oh, I'm up so tipsy, I just smelt the damn thing. Yeah, S and A collection or S and I keep on S and A. Whatever that 
that sucks us playing. I start losing it mentally. We'll save it there. Wait, that's Psycho Soldier, though. Um, <laughs> fighting free. <laughs> Yeah, for the most part, they have several different games here. I'm going to play a couple more, and then... Emergency. Emergency. Land on deck, six, six. We can also re remind the game, or rewind the games, rather. Warning. Warning. Emergency. Alpha mission start. Okay, it's the triggers. I was like thinking, why come I can't shoot? And I thought about it, I was like, why isn't... Reunited and it feels so good. Fucking this. I like the fact how big the ship actually is in this game. So much shit going on at once too. Get little options there. I'll fly alongside you. That's pretty cute. Jeez, this game is like so distracting. It's like I'm like trying to think of. I was like legitimately distracted the whole fucking time I was playing this because so much shit going on at once. Yeah, right. Ah, there we go. Emergency. Emergency. Land on deck six. Emergency. Emergency. Land on deck six. Warning. Warning. Emergency. Alpha mission start. Hey, get have all those power ups. And the thing too about this collection, it has like a bunch of very obscure classics, I consider them. Like this will be generally considered a hidden gem. Not that fucking shit that what's his face kept blurting out. I mean it's a game has its charm, but it also has its de charm like this game is just overall super distracting. What? Okay, those look like power up. Okay. So the orbs must be debooning me or something. Yeah, those are okay, those are bad. Don't touch those, Danny. I keep thinking those are power ups and obviously not. Tough little game. Love the uh, the ship though. The design on the ship, how it evolves and everything, looks pretty badass. There's like all kinds of hazard obstacles and all that throughout the world. I first thought those were like actual things you can power up with. 
Okay, that's just that just brutal. How they expect you to get past half of that? Yeah, how they expect you to get past half of that? Nope. Uh, this is actually the SNK collection. The uh, fourth anniversary uh, collection here, which uh, I was showing this earlier, but I'll show you again real quick. Um, has all sorts of nifty little things here, such as like uh, history, lore, you know, tidbits. Like showing stuff for like Vanguard 2 and... Overall, this goes over, you know, synopsis of what the game was or what the... How it played a role in SNK's involvement of, in the gaming world. And so you got like different bits and pieces, so it'll give you like a good synopsis again of everything. And then you have even even shows some of the risque things there, right? Which I'm not gonna click it, but you know what I mean. They go over just about everything. Canvas, uh, which basically just, a game like Canvas there was actually in like bars in Japan because they love mahjong, I guess, over there or something. Digital mahjong, which it, mahjong is all right. I mean, I don't, I don't have a problem with it. I just get confused because sometimes they change up the rules. Sometimes I'm like, what the hell am I doing now? <laughs> But it's straightforward, a match tile thing, which is, uh, I can dig it, basically. And then they got the soundtracks, which is always a good thing. Effectively a music player. So you're going to listen to a particular soundtrack, even though they're really short and straightforward in terms of how much they actually... It's all like that. Right on, Lala. Enjoy that good lurk. Really catchy tune. So, again, they have different things like that, you know, like Tank 3 here. Unused. Okay, I can see why they didn't use that. I, I could see I could see why they didn't use that. <whistles> kind of copyright in there, so I can understand. <laughs> yeah, that was a uh, Bermuda Triangle, though. And then Beast Busters. This one's actually really cool. I suck at it, by the way, because I don't have an actual uh, light gun. Wait, can I, can I use it like this? Oh, don't tease me like that. Oh, I thought I could literally use a control like that. I was all getting all excited and everything. Tease me like that. All right. Johnny Justice. Sometimes that's what you gotta do. You see... I don't mind this, but I don't like the analog stick control here. Probably would easily. But this makes my heart sad because of how this plays with the analog. Hold on. Can I... 
Yeah, because I would like to be able to kind of go like this with the adult, with the uh, PS4 controller and just move it like that and, you know, fire. that. Because, I mean, this controller can do that. It has the gyro stuff built into it, like an actual move controller. And it doesn't require, you know, the camera or nothing. So you can just literally go like this and move it. I'm surprised they didn't add that feature. Or the, I wish they could. This one's overall really good. Super violent, but really good. Yeah, not not liking this. Cause I'm just really going like this now because I'm not even really paying attention. I'd be more focused if I was actually able to go like this, but I can't. Damn, everyone got guns in this goddamn game. These zombies ain't fucking around. Oh, I can't quite... Yeah, this game isn't quite as good, I think. I mean, it's f okay, but it's not as good with the analog sticks aiming. Like, it just totally turns me off. Yeah, it would have been a whole lot better with, hell, even, like, mouse support or something. You know, because I'm using this, and I have to use the analog stick, and it's not as good to handle. Yeah, it has two different versions of this, by the way. Arcade and the uh, NES version. Play the arcade version here. Okay, my brain forgot the controls for a split second. Ironically, those slimes also play a cameo as enemies and... Alright. Can't do the super hop. Ah, been screwed. Now I got it. That's for the super jump. Oh. Oh. Got the shield now. Because I have that that helmet now. Those uh Howard's men are kinda BS there. Alright. Get the floaty mechanic there, which is very helpful. I got robbed. You can see if I'm also being timed at the bottom. Nope. Don't drink that. Fucking Grammas over here pulling me in. Get over here! Oh. 
got the hearts! Yay, we got the hearts! Alright. A little bit of RNG is involved with certain bits of this. Um, those items are static. The, uh, you know, armor and everything. Uh, armor. Again, she gets fully clothed eventually over time. So it ain't too risque, I guess. I got the super sword now. Oh, you are... Oh, they are vicious. Oh, that was cold-blooded. That was cold-blooded. They got me. Very hard game, by the way. It's not an easy game. Once you get the hang of it, it's not so bad, but it's still a challenging title. Oh. My brain keeps thinking I have the... And that hand right there takes away your stuff, by the way. That tree's vicious. And this game don't give a shit about your feelings, apparently. He says, you have feelings? I'm like, yeah! He goes, ah, too bad. You should have thought about those when you before you came in this game. <laughs> uh, I was gonna say if I wonder if Joy Cons are in the viewer playing on Switch disregard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm on PS4. Sorry about uh, responding to that part sooner. Um. Yeah, because on my tablet, for some odd reason, it's only showing me like uh. Four brackets on my screen here. Hold on. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, it was glitched out for some odd reason. And then we have one more game we're going to play on here, which is Crystalis.
Switch. This is the uh, NES version. You can tell by a little bit of that little glitch there at the bottom. Basically now at this part we just farm our asses off. This is actually one of my favorite uh, NES games of all time, by the way. You can see again those slides play a cameo in this. Two currency or two dollars per uh, kill there. A lot of grinding, that's for sure. The value is actually randomized here. I still can't get over the fact they actually got Nintendo to kind of go, okay, we'll allow you to put this on whatever platform. I mean, it's their game, but still, it's kind of funny. Usually, Nintendo's very ironclad about that. Cave. Can't get through this yet. Okay, that's why I was getting the money. I couldn't remember specifically why I was getting the money, but I also have to level through uh, killing the enemies. It's advisable to also fight the tigers with uh, the charge attack. They hit pretty hard. And that, you just kill the slimes with cruel uh, intentions with the uh, charge anyway. Plus, the animation looks badass. Excellent! Your level is increased. That's right. So if I play this for too long, I'll end up playing for hours, so I gotta, like, turn this off pretty soon. <laughs> cool thing about this, too, is you can save any point you want in the game, so if you have to go, like, go do groceries or something like that, for example, you can go and save it wherever, come back to it, and it'll leave you as you were. Also, if you like scape scumming, like, uh, myself. Soundtrack is so good in this game. Or as the folks from the UK would say, the musics. Apparently that's what the terminology is, musics. <laughs> Something after this next one. The hell? Controller glitched out. I'm going to automatically went down like this infinitely, and I couldn't even control it. Yeah, literally you keep farming for a while, you kill a bunch of these enemies, and... I mean, I don't mind repetition like this with, uh, certain games. And you come overpowered, and then you just destroy whatever it is, and... The reason why I got so much into this one, particularly because it reminded me a lot of East, 
because of the world. This area literally looks like the town from East. Alright, so we got this area here. Can't buy any of that. Warp boots, alarm loot. You need the actual alarm loot and the warp boots. Uh, for the most part, you buy the alarm flute to wake somebody else up in the cave, I think. There's like a character you have to wake up with that, and you have to... Oh, again, I remember some vague memory, but... Um... But there you have it. Because, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to turn this off because I'll just keep playing it for hours. And that's not a good thing because I have a, initially have a plan set up already. There you have it. I mean, as far as I can, am concerned, really damn good collection of games. Several kinds of modes. You can... Turn things to, you know, English, whatever you want. Multilingual. Soundtracks, bonus features. Such as advertising. You know, those pamphlets they passed around. Newsletter, behind the scenes. Original artwork, you know, script or sketches rather from from the game. That uh, fill in the blank here. A cocktail lounge one there. Really obscure. Like tidbits here and there. I mean, most is sure you could probably find on the web, but I mean, having it all just right here for you to access in the game is awesome too. So if you want to kind of like go, what, how'd this come about? You can kind of get some brief information on it 